Today we are going to be looking at the continents of the world. Now this is Asia continent. Can you see the image? This is Africa. Nigeria is in Africa. Nigeria is in West Africa. This is the image of North America. This is North America. This is the image of South America. Image of South America. And this is Europe. Then the last but not the least is the Australia. Australia. Then finally you have the Antarctica. These are the seven continents of the world. These are the seven continents of the world. First of all, uh, we did the five oceans of the world in our last class. So we talked about the Pacific Ocean. All the continents of the world are bordered with oceans. So we have the Indian Ocean. We have Atlantic Ocean. Then we have the Southern Ocean. Okay. Then uh, these are the... Today we are going to learn about the continents of the world and famous world leaders. But first, we are going to start learning this continent one by one. So what's a continent? A continent is a large mass of land. Yes, a continent is a large mass of land. First, the world has seven continents. So let's look at this continent of the world from the biggest. What is a continent? Continent is a very large land mass. First is Asia, which is the biggest continent in the world, followed by Africa, the second biggest continent in the world. North America is the third biggest continent in the world. Antarctica is the third smallest continent in the world. Then you have South America is the fourth biggest continent in the world. Europe is the second smallest continent in the world. Australasia is the smallest continent in the world. Like I told you earlier, seven continents. So the world has seven continents. So how many continents are there in the world? Eight? No, seven. Yes. So there are seven continents in the world. And I hope you can say them without uh, beating an eyelid. Let's start with North America. Okay, let's list them. North America, South America, Europe, Asia, Australia, Africa, and Antarctica. So these are the seven continents of the world. Let's learn the continents one by one. So first, we are going to start with the North America. American continent got its name from an Italian navigator, Amerigo Vespucci. Okay, so the four countries that make up the Northern continent, okay, uh, North America, we say Canada, USA. So North America is the third largest continent. North America is the third largest continent. The first largest one is Asia, followed by Africa. So North America is the third largest continent. So the people who originally lived in North America are called Native Americans. So North America has all the... Uh, animals, the biomes, desert, grassland, forest, aquatic, and tundra. So a biome is that habitat which has natural environment for all living things. So North America has a biome, okay, which includes desert. So like I told you earlier, remember that North America is at the top left of the world map. So the image before you is the world map that has the seven continents. So North America is the top. The next one is South America. South America, okay? Now, the Amazon is the largest rainforest in the world and is located in South America. Now, we have countries in South America like Brazil, Venezuela, Argentina, Colombia, Uruguay, Trinidad, and Tobago. All these are countries in South America. Then there are large cities. There's Sao Paulo. Rio de Janeiro. Now, South America is the fourth largest continent in the world. So, the third largest was North America. Then, the fourth is South America. So, the South American people, they speak Spanish, uh, mostly Catholics. Brazil is the largest country in South America, and it is more than half the size of the whole continent. So, like I told you, you have Brazil, you have Colombia, you have Argentina. These are countries, Uruguay, Venezuela. Trinidad and Tobago, these are countries in South America. South America is home to, okay, the Amazon River. Like I told you, the Amazon is the largest rainforest in the world and it's located in South America. So the only 
the Nile River in Africa is longer than the Amazon. So the Nile River in Africa is longer than the Amazon. Okay. So the longest river in South America is the Amazon River. So remember that South America is at the bottom left of the world map. So it's under North America, as you can see, of the image of the world. Okay. So now the next is Europe. Let's talk about Europe. Mount Elbrus is the highest mount in Europe and is located in Russia. Okay, so this is the image of Europe. Can you see the map? It's in an uh, orange color at the top. Okay, top middle of the world map. So we say that Europe is the second largest, smallest continent. Yes, Europe is the second smallest continent. Volga is the longest river in Europe and is located to in Russia. So we said Mount Ebrus is the highest mountain in Europe and Volga is the longest river. So Europe is the only continent that does not have a desert biome. Like we said, desert biome is that environment that has natural habitat for living things. Okay. Now, European countries are Germany, Italy, France, United States. So 80% of Europe was once covered in forests. But now, only 3% of Europe is covered in forest. So that is why we say it doesn't have a desert, uh, doesn't have a biome. So European cities are Moscow, London, Berlin, Rome, Paris. Remember, I told you that Europe has, uh, is at the top middle of the world map. Europe is at the top middle. You can see the arrow pointing to the top middle of the world map. So that's the location of Europe. Africa. Wow. Yes. We are in Africa. Nigeria is in Africa. Okay. Africa is our home and Nigeria is in West Africa. There are countries in Africa, Ghana, Congo, Kenya, uh, Uganda, Botswana. All these are countries in Africa. Africa is in the middle right of the map. Africa is the second largest continent after Asia. Okay, then we have physical features like the Nile River, Sahara Desert, we have the Great Rift Valley, Niger River, Benue River, Kalahari Desert. We have 54 countries in Africa. So the majority of people living in Africa live in rural areas instead of cities. Okay, now the countries the Nile River flows through are Uganda, Tanzania, Burundi, Democratic Republic of Congo. Like I told you earlier, we have 54 countries in Africa. Ethiopia, Sudan, Nigeria, Mali, Niger, Algeria. Remember I told you earlier that Africa is in the middle of the world map. Can you see the image? The arrow is pointing to the image of Africa. So anywhere you see this image, know that it is Africa. Asia. Asia, I hope you watch Chinese films. Have you seen the people of Asia, the way they look? Oh, yes. So Asia is the largest continent. Asia is the largest continent. Have a very big landmass. Himalayas and the Kulon Mountains are in Indian Asian continent. They are the highest mountains there. Okay. Now, Asia is the largest continent. Like I told you, the roof of the world, too, can be found in Indian like I told you, the Himalayas are the world's highest mountain. So Asia has more people living there than on any continent in the world. Okay, the world is 6 billion people total. But Asia has over 4.2 billion people. So you see, there's a lot of population in Asia. When you talk about Indian, talk about Chinese, the Philippines, okay? So these are countries in Asia. These are countries in Asia, China, Indonesia, and so on, South Korea. So, like I said, remember that Asia is at the top right of the world map. Look at the arrow pointing to Asia continent. We call them the Middle East often. Now, we look at Australia. Australia is another continent, okay? Australia is another continent. It means southern continent, always down. Look at the image. It's in a... Uh, orange color is at the bottom right corner of the most world map. You can see it there. So Syria is the smallest continent, or you can call it Australia, Australia or Oceania. Oceania, okay, is the smallest continent. The capital city of Australia is Canberra. Canberra. Australia also has the fewest countries. It only have. Uh, it's divided into five territories. Australia is divided into five territories. Australian major landfall includes the Great Australian Desert, 
okay it has more sheep than people there are more sheep in australia than people it's a very cold place it is down 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 below the southern hemisphere okay so australia major land form like i said is their desert there and it's a home to many unique animals like the kangaroos and the koalas have you seen a kangaroo kangaroos carry their babies in their pouch okay their pouch is like their stomach now i told you that australia is at the bottom right of the world map can you see the arrow pointing to australia there the last but not the least is the antarctica this is the continent that has uh there's no permanent resident there like there's no land uh form there in antarctica people are not living there it's more of eyes Antarctica is a frozen continent and one of the coldest places on Earth is the least populated continent. Yes, Antarctica is 98% ice. Imagine, can you stay in such an environment? Look at it now, ice. Receive visitors, but no permanent resident, okay? Now, it is the only continent that humans do not live on, although some scientists stay there for short periods of time to conduct experiment. okay? So, Antarctica has been referred to as a cold desert. Is the only continent completely covered in ice. You have animals like penguins there, okay, and some big uh, animal, uh, water animals, okay. It's very close to the Indian Ocean there. Like I told you, Antarctica is at the top bottom of the world map. Thanks for watching this video, and please you will ensure to do your video submissions and upload your assignments properly thanks for joining me in this lesson and be good